the best Jordan 1 of 2023 has arrived. Let's take a look at it. Yeah! That right there is a beautiful sneaker. If you guys couldn't tell, we're going for the Jordan 1 UNC toe, and I'm gonna show you why it's one of the best Jordan 1s to drop of 2023. Starting off, it does come with a nice special blue box. It doesn't come with a normal red and black box. Once you open the box, you see the beautiful sneakers. They do come with an extra set of the UNC laces, as you can see there. Now, don't worry. Your shoes won't look like this when you open them. They'll be all nice and wrapped and unlaced, but you guys know I had to go ahead and lace these up and put them on toe so you guys see what they look like on foot. I went with white and black laces. Let me know down below what lace colorway you're going with. I did have to actually go find the white laces out of a different pair of shoes, and that's where I found those. They do not come with white laces. And here they are both out of the box. Let's first off start with the quality control check because that's very, very important. Let's see if we got any glue stains around this right pair. Not looking too bad to me, not looking too bad whatsoever. I like that. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Now on to our left pair. Let's see if we got many glue stains. I'm not really seeing glue stains. It looks like Nike actually came and with the quality control on this pair, and that's what we would love to see. We're sick and tired of having these shoes with glue stains all over them. It looks like Nike actually fixed that when it comes to this. Some people may be bad with the swoosh with a little bit of stitching here, but that's really nothing major. Now let's get started with the leather quality. The best part of the shoe itself is the toe box. That's right. When we zoom in here, you can see the toe box. You can squeeze it. You can see that leather actually crinkle up. This is the best material on the shoe itself. Yes, it's just like the taxi leather. If you guys have a pair of the Jordan 1 taxis in your closet, go look at them. Look at the toe box. It'll be very similar to this toe box. So if you don't want to wait to see what the quality is like, just know the toe box is about like that. Now, when it comes to the black paneling on the shoe, it's a soft kind of hard leather. Nothing too crazy. It's not premium. I can tell you that much. It's not a premium leather that they used on there. As you can see going around the shoe itself, it's not a premium leather, but it's still not that bad. Now, the white panelings, they're okay. Uh, kind of kind of mid, I'm going to be honest with you, than the blue on the back around the Wings logo does give you a little bit higher quality leather on the blue paneling, which is great. I'm glad that Nike did bring the quality to the shoe. It's not too, too crazy, like I said, but it's definitely good enough to keep it up there to be one of the best Jordan 1s of 2023. Now on the tongue tag, we have Nike Air on the inside. It also says Nike Air on the insole. This is the same for both shoes. As you can see, it says Nike Air in this one too on the left and right. When it comes to sizing on this shoe, I recommend you guys go true to size your normal Jordan 1 high. There's no difference in this shoe. There's no extra padding. None of that to make it fit any different than any of your other Jordan 1s in your collection right now. Now, this shoe, just know, won't be the easiest one to pick up. Yes, I get it. There's rumors everywhere. There's 600,000 pairs, 700,000 pairs. We get that. But guys, there's going to be a lot more people going for this sneaker. So don't just rely on sneakers to get this. I recommend you guys to go check all your places, all the places to go into your raffles. I even put up a video, which is right there. Just know that. I put that video up. Watch that. I show you exactly where to grab these. I don't want some of you guys to sleep on them and think you can easily get them. And then come drop day, you end up missing out and have to pay a resale price for the shoe. Thankfully, the resale price isn't that high. But come drop day, people are going to FOMO buy in. And the price will go up probably just a little. And then they'll come back down. If you do miss on retail, it's not the biggest deal because you won't be paying a crazy amount of money, but I still rather you pay retail and get this shoe and not have to overpay for it. Now we know past UNC models have brought a lot of money. Some people may ask me, am I, are you going to buy them and just hold them and see if they go up over time? I personally won't be buying this to really hold over time to make money on. I'm buying a pair for myself to wear. I'm not really trying to hold a ton of these pairs. If you want to, you can go for it. If you want to take the risk and take the bet on the colorway, you can. But the Jordan 1 hype is pretty dead right now. As you know, the prices haven't really moved on some of the previous models that we've seen out. So just know that when it comes to holding these pairs. But with that being said, in fashion, trends always come and go and you never know when that Jordan 1 hype may be back and these may start going back up. But for me, I'm only buying a pair for myself and that's enough for me. Like I was saying before, the resale market is very, very low. I have a lot of you guys asking me what's going to happen with these on the resale market. I personally think they're going to keep going lower and lower, come up to drop day. And then once drop day does happen, they're going to go, there's going to be a little spike, like I said a little bit earlier in the video, and then they'll go back down. We're also expecting exclusive access on this shoe Friday, July 14th. So there's going to be more pairs going out that way and then more 
four pairs in early, causing that price to be affected even more than it already is. This is one of the best ones to start with if it's your first Jordan 1 in the collection. It's a UNC colorway. It's the easiest you've been able to obtain a Jordan 1 or any Jordan in a UNC colorway in quite some time. So there's a great first sneaker to add to your collection. Now let me know down below, will you pick up a pair of the Jordan 1 UNC toes or are you going to pass on this release? We have plenty of opportunities to grab these. A lot of your Nike stores are loading these. Like I said, we're expecting exclusive access and we've seen a lot of stock load on in-store. If you want to know how I see in-store stock, Kicked right there has in-store monitors to actually check these. So if you're interested in that, you can click the link down below. You can get in Kicked and we'll take care of you with anything you need. If you do join from this video, hit my Instagram DMs and let me know you joined because of the UNC Toe video. And I would love to welcome you into the server. Now what I'm getting at with all that in-store stock, expect a sneakers pass to go down. For those of you that don't know what a sneakers pass is, all the sneakers pass is, is you reserve, it'll, a drop will come up on our phones, our apps. It's gonna be app only, not desktop. It'll load at a certain time. It'll say, reserve your pair now and you pick which mall you wanna go to. You gotta be within a certain mile radius. I think it's a 25 mile radius. They be changing that radius up all the time. But from there, you click reserve now. And then if you do hit, it'll say you got them. It gives you a pickup time and what mall to go to. It's whatever mall you did pick on the sneakers pass. And then you can go pick them up on drop day or when they tell you to go in and actually pick up your pair of shoes. Now, if you are waiting for a sneakers pass, you'll need the phone that you actually hit on and you're gonna need your ID. Just know that when it comes to sneakers passes and they're very strict at the Nike stores. I do know that I've been told super, super strict at the Nike store. So just know that. So that is it for the Jordan 1 UNC Toe Review, guys. Let me know what you think of the shoe. Like I said, are you picking up pairs or are you passing on this release completely because you guys think like, oh, there's too many pairs. I know I've heard people saying, oh, I don't like the colorway. It's not an actual UNC colorway. It's too dark. I don't care. I love it. I think with the white laces, these actually pop off. I love the white lace look to them. I think when I get my pair, I'm going to go all white laces and rock these all the time. And this lighting is kind of giving me Obsidian vibes a little bit, honestly, which is pretty cool to see. I know it's not Obsidian. And don't hold me against that, but that's just what I'm seeing in the lights. But guys, thank you for being here. If you have any questions for me, my Instagram is right here. I'll respond to all your DMs. Like I said, if you want and kicked right up there, you can join down below. There'll be some copies. If you made it this far into the video, let's say Jordan 1 UNC toes are actually fire. Thank you guys, as always, for tuning in, showing me love, showing support. You guys have been amazing. I love you all for real. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Make sure that bell notification's on. I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.